Hello everyone, welcome back to another session by K21 Academy. Today our expert trainer will be talking about Azure subscriptions. So let's get into the video. So this is very important. So if this person, if this particular person has bought three different subscriptions, subscription A, subscription B, and subscription C, which is basically he bought this particular subscription for development purpose, this one for testing and this one for production. So whatever the resources, so you understand it in this way first. So there is a user or there is an account who has bought a subscription. So this is the subscription that is this particular person has bought. Now he starts creating resources. So first of all, he created a, let's say he created a test RG. Then he created a dev RG. Then he created a prod RG. Because after subscription, what is the next abstraction layer? Resource group. And inside this resource group, their teams, his team start creating resources, right? Now, what will happen in this particular case? When an invoice will get generated, like when an invoice will get generated for the resources that is being used by this particular person's team against this subscription, the invoice will be only one invoice will get generated. One invoice will get generated. So if he wants that I want a separate invoice for my test RG, I want a separate invoice for my dev RG, and I want a separate invoice for my prod RG, it is not possible. All right, so this particular person will get only one invoice from Azure to pay the price, whatever the consumption has been done. If it is monthly, then monthly wise. So it's a better way. What we can do is like we can buy multiple subscriptions and then we can use those subscriptions for different uh, uh, like different environments. So for an example, if you want, you can buy a separate subscription for development then test and then production and then you start deploy your resources inside resource groups and then what you will get you will get three different subscription uh, three different uh, invoices one one for this one one for this one and another one for this one now if you want to perform some cost analysis there is a way we will do that we will discuss on that how to perform a cost analysis on to this particular subscription but yes Against one subscription, one invoice will be given. Now, when we will discuss more about the security part of the things, when when we will discuss about Azure policy, how it also works as a security boundary. As of now, it works as a billing boundary. That's what we are trying to understand. Once we'll move to the next slide, here it is showing you how you are going to get subscription, how you can buy subscription, right? So, first of all, there is something called an enterprise agreement sub subscription, EA subscription. So if you have a high requirement in which uh, if you have if you are going to deploy multiple servers on azure or if 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 the requirement is pretty much big high or if you actually want to directly connect with azure uh, microsoft in order to buy the subscriptions directly connect to microsoft support and tell them these boss this, these and all these are my requirement and i can pay you some money upfront also some 10,000 USD I can pay upfront and I'm going to use Azure for next few years. So what Azure will do, Azure will create, Azure will start, Azure will give you subscriptions which are specifically called as EA subscriptions and they will add these credits and they will also give you some discounts on that because you are making some upfront commitments. So this upfront commitments is, with, so we'll understand more about this upfront commitment. So here, what you are getting is like if you are saying Azure that I am going to use your services for next three years or five years or so, right? So Azure will, so you are giving a what you are what you are doing. You are telling Azure that you are making some commitment for next three years or five years. I am going to use the services. So what Azure will do, it will give you a good discount on uh, good discount if you are making some uh, uh, some commitment for next three years or five years, right? some monetary commitment basically commitment when i'm saying monetary commitment and then what azure will the the, the subscriptions that which azure will specific microsoft will provide you will fall under enterprise agreement ea subscriptions we call it as ea subscriptions right 
there is what there are there are uh, there are other ways also in order to get the subscriptions so you can you can actually talk to some resellers right resellers are basically um you can call them as dealers right exclusive dealers who has some tie up with microsoft so that they can sell subscriptions so you know you don't need multiple subscriptions you need one or two subscriptions right so why to go to talk to microsoft you can talk to you can reach out to some resellers who can provide and simple flexible way to purchase cloud services so there are those kind of people now there are some partners these partners the, the these these company it, it can be it can it can be a, sim, a single person also it and it can be a small company also so if you guys would have heard about this company dxc there is a company called dxc dxc is a gold partner gold partner of azure microsoft azure so what it will do it will it has a tie up with azure okay it has a tie up with azure what it will do so let's say there is a company called x xyz company this xyz company let's say he's it's an auditing company they are using some auditing application for their use now this 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 particular auditing company actually wants to move to azure if they wants to move their application to azure if you need one or two subscriptions you can go to resellers get it if you need multiple subscriptions for your organization go for enterprise agreement subscription and if your company is not aware of azure cloud but the requirement here is like they want to move their applications to cloud now who is going to do that so companies like dxc is going to do that right so these companies are having people who can who can actually move migrate your applications to azure and while doing that they will buy subscriptions from azure they will create resources inside those subscriptions and at last they will give access to your company employee so that they can start using those particular applications those auditing applications which they were using earlier but in the back end it is being hosted on azure which is being maintained by dxc companies like dxc which falls under csp cloud service providers right so these cloud service providers will charge you on the basis of uh, uh, the azure services that are being consumed that is that is being consumed by that particular op application so the billing plus their service charge to maintain that particular application which is running on azure okay and there is personal free account so you can start you can create your free account uh, the same which uh, balaji was talking but it is only applicable for 30 days and you will get um 200 uh, usd credits for 30 days in which you can have you you'll be having access of all the resources on azure but after 30 days your free trial subscription will be disabled by azure so then you need to create again a new account with a new uh, credit card you need a credit card in order to verify yourself so yes credit card is required and a outlook account is required or any other account is also fine but uh, better go with outlook account outlook account and a credit card these two things are required in order to create a free account all right now how the uses will be uses in the sense how how you will get charged for free you will get 200 credits 30 days free limited access for 12 months after that you will so there 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 are few free services but but it is just for saying purpose free services there are no free services if you not if you don't have a subscription you will not be able to do a thing on azure that is something you will be doing pay as you go monthly you will get charged right or csp the one which i have just discussed where you are going to charge for the services that you are using plus the amount of billing that is being generated against those subscriptions in which your application will be running then there is ea subscription so in one agreement it discounts for a new license and software assurance targets at enterprise scale or organization where you can get some discounts from azure and that is something that is there and for students if, if you if you are a student and if you have a valid id card then also you can get azure subscription okay which includes hundred dollars for 12 months so the credit is 
less than what you are getting in a free subscription but the number of days will increase to 12 months okay but you must verify you have you are a student so it will get verified by checking your id so guys this was our expert from team k21 academy and 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 if in case you missed upon anything or if you could not understand anything from what our trainers explained then we have something really special for you we have our free class on microsoft azure admin certification for beginners along with some question and answers and in this class you'll be learning about who should learn azure cloud and why we'll be learning about azure certification roadmap for beginners and a lot of demos about azure core services more than 30 plus hands-on labs and what not and if you want to register for this free class then you just have to log on to k21academy.com forward slash az10402 so just now let me just give you a demo for the same all right so what you have to do is just open your browser and type k21academy.com forward slash az10402. After that, you'll be seeing a page like this. You just have to click on book your seats now. And after that, just select an event date when you're available, add your name, add your email address, add your phone number, and click on yes, save my seat now. Moving ahead, you'll be seeing this kind of link on the extreme right. Just save that link, add it to your calendars, and I'll see you in this class. Till then, take care and keep learning.